is Gia and welcome to another video. Today we're doing another video instead of Minecraft. As you can see, um, I'm just talking today. Uh, this is another recording I don't know what's gonna happen to. <laughs> I will figure something out with this one, but yeah, I just wanted to talk because, well, what's been happening today as a recording? One, school. Two, stuff. <laughs> and yeah, um, it was... I feel like a lot of stuff can happen, has happened, and yeah, I don't know what much to say to that, like, it's been a few years of me doing this, and I'm still in college, I'm still doing well, I'm trying to plan ahead to make sure I don't fall behind in any of the stuff that I'm doing, because Nobody wants to fall behind on these sort of things. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just me doing whatever I want to do because that's what I want to do. And like, I would love to show you these sorts of videos um, more in depth, but time lapse while I'm just over, voiceover is it's the best I can do. Uh, yeah. Especially when. There's not much you can do. Like, there's so many ways you can do something before it becomes um, a bit boring, quote unquote. Um, no. Boring. I don't know if that's the way you would call it, but some people would find this not as interesting. But I find it interesting because it's just me chilling out, doing what I want leaving myself to my own thoughts um yeah i do that a lot and sometimes my thoughts scare me but not necessarily anything bad it's just my thoughts sometimes scare me <laughs> the ideas that i come up with um, when it comes to stories um, <laughs> i don't want to finish that thought. um there are a lot of Ideas that I can't put shoved into a Pandora's box, box let's say, that I don't want to ever release because they are much too dark. <laughs> uh, like story things, story stuff. Like I've managed to make some of them work, the others I just don't know. Let's not go there. Um, yeah. That's how things go. You try things and see how they work. And Sometimes they build stuff, sometimes people like them, people sometimes don't. I'm also trying to figure out what other things I could do, but right now with school coming soon as of recording this, um, I don't know. Especially with, like, I could definitely tell that something, that I'm getting, I'm getting nervous. I am certainly getting nervous and anxious. Because my um, anxiety dreams are back. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically when I wake up in the morning, I feel some sort of expression based off some dream that I remember in my mind. I remember my dreams, a lot of my dreams, a lot better than most people, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, I've recalled dreams about his target attacks, and one that I had and wrote down in a draft of um, Clockwork Chronicles, but it turned out to be hinting at um, I lost in Hero Helpers, which, which was very interesting. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, like in this case, it's just weird. <laughs> That's all. It's so weird. It weird. Like sometimes I've had happy dreams. And good dreams, like collabing with YouTubers, which I don't think will ever happen. But sometimes, sometimes they're not so nice dreams where I just feel anxious, stressed, upset about something in the dream. It's just not good feelings. They rarely make me happy, those types of dreams. What um, professionals would call anxious dreams, anxiety dreams. So it's not official that I have it, but I do get, I don't know, like I have to talk to a professional about it, but 
I want to, but I'm just scared to because life and you really don't want to um, add too much more than what other people are handling right now because I'm going through a lot. And if I'm going through anxious dreams, then like, what much can you do about it? Not sure. I mean, write about it, yeah. Talk about it, yeah. Like, it's fine. I mean, it's just part of what I'm dealing with. Like, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Sometimes I can use that to help write a story. Like, Clockwork Chronicles, Season Clockwork, uh, other fan fictions and other real stories that I'm working on. It's just difficult because I have to picture myself as a specific character and try to imagine what they would think based on, you know, it's with the hermits, it's a little bit trickier because I don't know them as well as probably Stampy in a way because I've watched so many of his, <laughs> I watched all of his Lovely World videos, all of them now. I can officially say I've watched all of them at least once. So, yeah, I have not watched all of the Hermitcraft videos that uh, all of them are done. I don't think I can handle that. Hey, <laughs> if there's a reference that I catch, it's like, oh, that's cool. But, yeah, I just have to use what information I have. And if I learn something new about the specific character, that's cool. And, yeah, I can use what I know and experiment. Because, yeah. But, like, basically on ships, though, when it comes to my fan fictions, I tend to stick with, um, um, real life sort of stuff. So, like, Stampy and Squish are together, um, Lizzie and Joel are together. Yes, they are in the story, too. Most people haven't seen that one. <laughs> like, Lizzie Secret is another one, one of the stories that is least viewed, but... I mean, it's not crucial, but, I mean, it's just a few characters that don't really do Minecraft anymore. But I still put them in there because, hey, they had some importance to the story. So, one storyline anyway. One that you may never know. You never know. And yeah. Yeah. The Lizzie and Joel storyline that I had there kind of made sense. Thought about it. I actually, just stopped. Just thought about it for a second. You would have figured it out. But, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for you today. I've done many things and many more things. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, whenever that might be. Goodbye.